Well, a major milestone in Canadian-Japanese relations is being celebrated at the University of Waterloo. It's the 25th anniversary of the Canada-Japan Agreement on Cooperation in Science and Technology. Today, researchers in the field of nanotechnology from both sides of the Pacific are taking part in a workshop to trade concepts. CTV's Matthew Kang has more on why this meeting is sparking the interest of the Canadian and Japanese governments. Known as the science of the very small, nanotechnology works at the atomic and molecular scale of massive industries on our planet. You know, there isn't a product that you can say, oh, this is a nano product. It, it is embedded and enable, enabling all other technology. To explore its vast potential and honor a decades-long scientific partnership, Canadian and Japanese researchers gathered at the University of Waterloo, receiving support from Minister of State Gary Goodyear and the Japanese Ambassador to Canada, Kaoru Ishikawa. Of all the topics being discussed at this workshop, Ambassador Ishikawa says he's particularly interested in the way Canadians have been able to balance high technology with preservation of nature. In his address, Ambassador Ishikawa thanked Canada for its help during the March 11th earthquake and tsunami, an event which he says forced the Japanese to rethink their faith in the trinity of chips, software and machines. We, who had always believed that science and technology would solve everything, we were reminding that it is not so. Don't forget the great mother nature. Uh, well, that kind of equilibrium, that kind of notion of balance, I'm sure that Canadians can share. On Canada's end, Minister Goodyear says foreign partnership in research and development has a direct effect on the economy. Having collaborative partnerships with other countries, in this case with Japan on nanotechnology, ultimately we can get product to the marketplace faster, creating better job opportunities for Canadians and helping our economy. Dr. George Dixon, the university's vice president of research, says he's thrilled UW was selected for this meeting and has high hopes for it. Matthew Kang, CTV News, Waterloo.